Happy Vlogmas. It is Evelyn here and today I am trying this Pearl Color Curling Gel from As I Am. Let's get it on and popping. Before we get it on and popping, I want to tell you a few things about my hair and what you can expect to see in this video today. My hair is flat ironed and it has been in this state for about 12 days. You will see me apply a pre-shampoo treatment on camera because I want you to see the texture of my hair. Secondly, you will not see me shampoo and condition my hair on camera. However, I will come back on camera and share with you the products that I use to shampoo and condition my hair. You will get to see me apply my leave-in products along with the Flamingo Pink Curl Color Curling Gel from As I Am. I will dry my hair with my handheld blow dryer that has a diffuser attached to that dryer. I think that covers it all and I am ready to get this process started. Let's go. I am ready to apply my pre-shampoo treatment and this is what I'm using today. This is the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Intensive Treatment. The directions say to apply this on damp hair and I will leave it on for 10 minutes. Putting on this plastic cap, which is something I always do, they don't say to put on a plastic cap, but I don't really like my hair to be all out. So I figure putting a plastic cap on my head helps to trap in whatever the treatment has to offer. I feel like I'm getting a good deal when I put the plastic cap on. It might not do anything, but that's just something that I like to do. I am leaving this on my hair for 10 minutes, and then after the 10 minutes is up, I will rinse it out and proceed to shampoo and condition my hair. My hair has been shampooed and conditioned, and right now I have a hair mask in my hair that is marinating for 20 minutes. While it's marinating, here is what I use. The first product up is the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate. This is the intensive treatment that I use before I shampoo my hair. And for shampoo, I use two different types of shampoos. Shampoo number one is the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo. Shampoo number two is the As I Am Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. After shampooing my hair, I followed up with the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Conditioner. And the final product that I use in the shampoo and conditioning process is a hair mask. And it is the As I Am Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Moisturizing Mask. Those are the products that I use for shampooing and conditioning. I'm going to go and finish letting this product sit on my hair for the recommended amount of time. Then I'll be back to put my leave-in conditioners and all that good stuff in and we'll get to styling this hair.
This is the curl color, curling gel, and I'm gonna share with you what they say on the back of the jar before I start the application process. So you will know why I did what I did and why I'm doing what I am doing, okay? All right, so on the back of the jar, it says, color and define your curls with this curling gel. So they refer to this as a curling gel. This curl enhancing color gel provides a medium hold that lasts one wash. Using submicron technology, this flake-free formula features JBCO, which is Jamaican black castor oil, and ceramides to strengthen and moisturize your hair. It is certified vegan and cruelty-free. Now, this is what they say as far as instructions. They say before applying, it is important to cleanse the hair using the As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. And that is what I did, or the co-wash. Secondly, it says spray the As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil liberally. Now you saw me apply a regular spray-in leave-in conditioner. Honestly, that was making my hair feel very good. But then when I sprayed the Jamaican black castor oil uh, water in my hair, it started feeling a little bit strange, meaning what I had just sprayed in my hair didn't feel so good. It just felt like water to me. But nevertheless, I'm trying to follow what they say on the back of the jar. And then after that, they say apply the As I Am Classic Leave-In Conditioner or the Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner before coloring. And then they say, towel dry before applying the curl color. Hair must be dry or damp, not dripping wet before applying the curl color to prevent color transfer. Use gloves to apply the color. I see that I'm gonna have to put a lot more than I was putting when I first initially put it on. So I have to be liberal with it. And here are the directions. Section hair off and apply to damp hair from root to tip. Use a generous amount based on the thickness of your hair. Twist or rake through hair for desired style. Use a hooded dryer or handheld diffuser. To it smells very good. Use it to completely dry your curl color application to avoid color transfer. For air drying, please reserve more time for your hair to completely dry to avoid color transfer. For maximum color longevity, consider wearing a bonnet at night to prevent potential transfer to your pillowcase or bedding. Great for twist outs, coils, wash and goes, and rod sets.
here it is take a look at it this is my left side check it out curls are popping color is popping too especially in the front where the gray is i'll come up a little closer and show you that but check it out this is my left side check out the back this is my right side And I'm back to the front. Let me come a little closer so you can get a little bit of a closer view of how the color looks. That is so pretty. And even though with the pink, you don't expect your hair to really be pink because it's not a chemical that's going to lift so that you can deposit that color. But I noticed where I have gray. It really took the color because there is no pigment in gray or white here. So it is going to show that true color. I need to wash that off right here. This is a damp cloth and as you can see, it does come off. Okay. So it really took the pink in this area because that area is mostly gray hair it's pretty very pretty want to come up closer i always like to come up closer so you can get a good look at how it looks because if i zoom in and i'm way back here it's going to be a little bit distorted i think a little fuzzy okay The next time I do this, I more than likely will sit under the dryer because I got color transfer on my diffuser, but it's nothing that a little wet cloth can't get off, but I still don't like that. So I will be committing to sitting under the dryer whenever I do some more of these color gel type of products in my hair. But I like it. I think it turned out very well and it's a different look. And sometimes it's good to what switch up and change the look. And it just kind of gives me a little bit of a, I don't know, I just look different, but I like it. Have you used any of As I Am's Curl Color Curling Gels? Let me know in the comment section what colors you've tried. And, and if you've tried some colors, let me know what your favorite ones are. I do have emerald green. I have the tint kind of bluish color turquoise and I have a bronze type of color. I have three more colors. So I have a total of four of them and I cannot wait to try them. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just amazed at how this looks. It looks totally different. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. If you like this video and you like this type of content, which I don't do this type of content all the time, on my channel, I do a little bit of everything under the umbrella of beauty. Not everything, but I mostly do hair, skin care, and I do a little bit of makeup. I do a little bit of lifestyle wellness type of stuff because I am into getting healthy and fit. So you will see those types of videos. If that is your cup of tea, I encourage you to check out the other videos on my channel in my video library. And then after that, if you like what you see, I ask you to subscribe to the channel. Only if you want to. All right. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.